What is up my beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I want to show you three hacks that you can try today to get yourself out of a business slump so that you can handle bad days and future bad days like a real boss. All right, the truth is, let's just face it, as human beings, we will have bad days. I have them, you have them, everybody has them. The question though is how can you bounce back from a business slump as quickly as possible so that you aren't allowing your slump to take control over you and your business? So if you want to learn how you can turn around your day in four effective hacks that I use personally, then keep on watching. So the first step that you can do is to develop a yes attitude. Now there is a difference between a positive attitude and a yes attitude. Both are super powerful, but yes is actually more powerful because it basically means that everything will start with yes, even when you're feeling like a no. So what I mean by that is most of the time we try to make ourselves get into this positive attitude when really we're just not feeling it, right? So what I like to do instead is when I have all these things I need to do, um, and I really am feeling like a slump and I really feel like I just don't want to do it I develop a yes attitude instead which means that I'm gonna say yes to all the things that I need to do right and instead of looking at it as I have to do them I look at it as if I get to do them right so to be completely honest with you I didn't really feel like jumping on here and creating this YouTube video today but I developed a yes attitude and I said that I would do it, so I'm gonna do it, right? Um, a quick trick that I've tried before that has really worked is basically doing something for five minutes. So let's just say that you have a task that you need to complete and you just really feel like you can't do it. Try doing it for five minutes, set a timer, do it for five minutes, and most of the time, when you have done it for five minutes already, you're gonna keep on going. It's kind of like, you feeling like you don't want to go to the gym, right? But the moment you put on your tennis shoes, the moment you put on your cute workout outfit and you start driving to the gym, the moment you get to the gym, you're already there. So you might as well just work out, right? So it's the same concept, but obviously in a different way, right? So the next time you're in a business slump or like this is slump in general and you have all these things and tasks that you need to do, instead of looking at it, number one, as something you have to do, look at it and change your perspective and ask yourself, this is what I get to do, right? That's number one. And number two, right, is to just do it for five minutes, right? Set a timer on your iWatch or I use a Pomodoro timer or I even use now Alexa, right? I ask her, hey Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. And I just do it for five minutes regardless of my attitude. And then within those five minutes, I will, most likely just continue doing it, right? Does that make sense? Okay, second hack is to celebrate effort and not victory. So, so many times we only celebrate sales or money coming in or success. And while that is important, what's equally important, if not even more, is celebrating the work that went into making those sales happen or the money coming in, right? Remember that your work ethic will lead you to more sales than any other thing in your sales arsenal. So what I want you to do is actually make a list of all your efforts that you did this week. Where have you been self-integral? Right? I feel like as a society, we spend so much emphasis on the highlight reel. We go on social media and we see everyone's success, how they made this much money in X amount of days. And we get kind of down on ourselves sometimes, not because, you know, obviously because we want that same success as well. And we start to diminish our everyday efforts and we think that we're not successful because we haven't gotten the results yet. Well, what I like to do whenever I'm in a business slump or whenever I'm just feeling like I'm having a bad day is I actually celebrate my efforts, right? And that kind of goes back to step number one, which is basically changing the way you look at things. And in this step, which is step number two, effort is so important, right? Because without the effort, you're not gonna get the results. So the results that you see people get are, is, a, is really the outcome of the efforts that they have put in. You just don't see all of the stuff that's going on behind the scenes because most of the time we see the highlight reel, right? So 
I really want to encourage you to really take the time today to look back on your week this week and write down, right, literally journal down all the efforts that you have made this week that has contributed to your business success, right? Write those down. So instead of writing down your past successes, which is another exercise I love to tell my clients to do, write down your efforts. What have you actually consistently done? What have you done today to show up for yourself or for your audience or for your clients, right? Write down your efforts and celebrate them. Okay, so the last and final step is understand why you are procrastinating and start telling yourself a different story. So the reason why you aren't doing things in your business isn't because you don't know what to do. The problem is that you aren't doing it, right? And there's a big difference between knowing something and doing something. Everybody seems to know what to do or they think that they're right but very few are actually implementing and taking consistent, actionable steps to reach their goals. So part of the problem is, I believe, A, that they are resisting, or people are resisting to look at the block that is actually blocking them from taking action. Normally that is a subconscious belief that they have about themselves and why they can't do something, right? So that's the block. Because normally when we're really clear about the lack of belief we have about ourselves, right? Or when we become clear on what that is, then we start to flow and we start to move forward at a speed that we never thought was possible previously, right? Now, the second thing is actually, instead of taking action, start asking yourself powerful questions that allow you to move forward, right? So we tend to become information junkies. And what that means is that we consume more than we actually produce. So the next time you are consuming content like you are right now, start to ask yourself more powerful questions, right? A powerful question is like, instead of saying like, oh, I know that, right? Ask yourself, how good am I at that? Right, I'm gonna repeat that question one more time. After you finish consuming information, instead of saying like, oh my God, that was wonderful, or let me store that in my arsenal of knowledge, stop and ask yourself, how good am I at that? Right, so you're actually challenging yourself to see where you are like not taking action in certain things. Because again, there's a difference between knowing information and actually implementing on the information that you have just learned. Okay, so this is something that I completely struggled with from in the very beginning is that I was such an information junkie. I prided myself on learning new things, right? Like I was like, I am such a great person. I used to tell myself this because I'm always constantly learning. However, if you're learning all this information, you're just an information junkie. You're not actually applying any of those things. So next time, like I said, ask yourself this very powerful question, which is how good am I at that? Now, if you love the hacks that I gave you so far, then make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel so that you'll get notified the next time I give away more hacks and tips that will help you in your business. So there you have it, my three hacks on how I get myself out of a business slump. And if you wanna learn more about money, marketing, and metaphysics, then make sure you check out these two videos right over here. Anyways, guys, I love you, I appreciate you, and I cannot wait to bring more goodies for you in future videos. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!